Hello. So we're going to take a look at the movie Confess Fletch and the amazing artwork that's all throughout it. I love the Fletch series in general and the fact that it was about art thefts just made it that much more fun. Right from the very beginning, in the very entry sequence, they have this great painting which I just adore. This is by Paul Klee and it's called Senecio and it's the head of a man going senile. And it's a very quirky painting with bright colors and it was just brilliant for me that this is the way they were going to start the movie with this picture with it right up against John Hamm's name. So a great way to start out. And then next up we have the Degas horse sculpture and they show it in a bunch of times. They show all of this art a bunch of times during the uh, movie because a lot of the scenes take place in that space. And this is just one of the horses that they got sculpted but he was a very you know all of these people that they're in here are very talented artists and i think it's great that they're showcasing all of their different art styles the next item is just a very brief glimpse of it but this is an andy warhol famous image of shoes so um they've got a real mix in here of old styles and new styles the person who's dead is an artist from worcester so she's also an artist in this scene he's calling in the dead body and he stands there in front of a painting. And this is one of the few paintings I couldn't, and he's looking at the Degas horse, but the painting is one that I couldn't identify specifically. I'm pretty sure this is a David Hockney style, but I can't find it uh, specifically referenced anywhere on the web. So if you happen to know what this painting is, uh, who painted it, uh, please let me know. The other piece of art in this scene is an abstract with a number of different circles. This is actually called circular forms, and this is by Robert Delaunay, who does a number of different kinds of circular shapes and abstract images. And this great scene, he says he's researching the biography of Edgar Arthur Tharp Jr., the cowboy painter. And then he says, I prefer Remington, <laughs> which is pretty funny. So we'll get into that later. But um, so... The picture that they're actually after is Picasso. So this is Picasso that he's being shown by the thief to um, say that he's going to buy because he needs to get it for the ransom. And this is Portrait of a Woman, Olga, by Pablo Picasso. You know, of course, it's a Picasso. And uh, people often think of Picasso as having very disjointed faces, but this is one that shows the artist was just talented in many ways. Uh, the characters are in a boat now, and just lurking in the background there is a beautiful painting hanging on the wall of a boat. And this is The Green Wave by Claude Monet, <laughs> another very, very talented author. And, and again, people might think of Monet for some of his other water lilies and other works. But I like part of how this movie shows different artists in their different styles that they have available. At the end, when all the paintings are going to their destinations, I like that the main character there is a painter and likes to paint and that they've sent her the painting here, which is the only one that she gets. The St. Jerome as a Scholar by El Greco. You know, if you can only get one painting to hold on to, you might as well take this one here. And then the two people that helped him out that were artists, they also got their hands on a quite lovely painting. They check the back and say, well, look, it's sort of famous. The Mystery of a Summer Night by Edward Munch, who you might know from his Scream painting. And then we've got the uh, poor, a bit deranged neighbor is also very happy because she's got a painting of her own. This is Girl in a Sailor's Blouse by Amadeo Mug. Modigliani. <laughs> I always have trouble with that name. Modigliani. And then the funniest part for me is at the end, he's got a bunch of pictures of Remington hanging on his walls after all of that fake talk about the fake anti-Remington. And then he has the Picasso. So Remington, Frederick Remington, was very famous for all of his um, Western images. This just happens to be one of them, the Buffalo Runners Bighorn Basin. And then the other picture that he kept for himself was the portrait of the woman Olga by Pablo Picasso. I sort of wish that he gave these paintings to museums so everyone could enjoy them instead of them being hoarded by people. But, you know, he does what he likes to do and he just makes himself happy. So these were some of the artworks that were featured in Confess Pletch. If you happen to know the name of the artist of the California style picture, I'd love to know that. And if there's anything else that I didn't feature that you're curious about, let me know that too.